War always carries a cost. And my war on crime is no different. The truth is, no matter how hard I fight, sometimes I have to lose. In order to save Selena from this fate, I had to give myself up. My life for hers. Now, there's nothing to stop Harley Quinn and her crew from killing everyone at the Sanctus facility and stealing a virus that could wipe out Gotham. Meanwhile, I face the cold embrace I'm here. I'm here. Harley had me thrown into one of Freeze's cryo chambers. But I'm okay now. Oh, well, that's a relief. I'm afraid I was starting to panic. I've got it under control, Alfred. Is the pact still in the subway? No. I'm bringing the car around. Call Waller. Tell her the pact means to slaughter their way into Sanctus, and I'm going after it. What? Have you shot on sight, Bruce? I'm not going as Bruce. It's time to let Batman handle things. sign of Harley or the others. spa workers. More death and destruction. This blood trail looks like they dragged something. Looking for Project Lotus. Ah! 
Batman! Get out of here or I'll shoot, I swear to God! Where did they go? They went down in the elevator. Do you have access? It's got to scan my eyes. Another use for Riddler's eyes. Call it for me! No way! Those freaks are down there! They'll kill me if they see me. If you do it, I can stop the intruders that attacked you. I'm not supposed to let anyone in there. But... All right. You gotta stop them. Send paramedics. I've already made the call. I contacted Director Waller. She, um, wants to speak with you. Now. Put her through. Batman, where are you? Give me a status update. I'm at the Sanctus facility. I split with the Pact, and they beat me here. It's a bloodbath. I ordered you not to blow your cover. What the hell were you thinking? You're right. I made a mistake. It's too late to change anything now. Just get your damn head on straight. We'll be there to back you up soon. We're gonna put an end to this once and for all. Looks like Sanctus security barely slowed them down. That's why you have to keep them there until we arrive. That virus cannot be allowed to leave the facility. Don't mess this up again. This door lock requires a key card. His final moments must have been painful, horrific. Just injure yourself more. It's 
too late for that. Stop them. Here. Take my... anything unless I say so. We don't know what half this stuff does. What are you doing? You saved my life by taking the rap for the laptop theft. I'm returning the favor. I'm on guard duty along with three gunmen who are all watching that door up ahead. If I hadn't stopped you, you'd be full of holes right now. We don't always see eye to eye, but I'd much prefer you in one piece. I'm just glad to see you alive. Same. After seeing them throw you in Frieza's meat locker, I wasn't sure if that was the end. I've seen a lot of death recently. Harley encouraged Freeze and Bane. They killed anyone they wanted. I should have done something more to stop them. But I didn't. Fake! What did I say about touching the equipment? <laughs> Be quiet, you and monsieur! I'm going to make this right. I'll help you stop them. Whatever I have to do, they're not getting that virus. Whatever it is, I can do it. Good. We'll fight them together. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Anything in here could kill you. So keep your hands to yourself. Let's do this. Automated extraction process. You can't rush it. I can free these popsicle lights move faster than this thing. Hey, it's a bat! It's an automated extraction process. You can't rush it. I can free these popsicle lights move faster than this thing. Ah! 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 
need. You switching sides on us, kitty? I weighed my options, and what can I say? I don't like to lose. You made a big mistake. The virus is almost extracted. All right, Bets. What made you think you'd be able to stop all of us? I wouldn't put money on your chances of walking out of here. Maybe we should try a therapy circle. I'm not alone. Aw, we'll bury you side by side in the pet cemetery. Unfortunately, we have a tight schedule. But I always have time to kill you. Get him, boys! Save them for you. Please evacuate the lab through the emergency elevator. Back in. We're in the facility now. Harley's getting away. 
Come on, we'll find. Get down! Answer, get yeah. down. We didn't stop Harley. You did enough. Now get out of here. See you around sometime. Alfred, call Tiffany and tell her to get to the manor. Harley escaped with a virus. Right away. Get me a proper lockdown crew in here, Stat. I want bioscans on freeze. Do not let him out of that airlock. Move it, people! Good work here, Batman. Good work? Harley escaped with the Lotus virus. Your girlfriend, Catwoman, is nowhere to be found. Same goes for your boy, John. So if good work means half the pact is loose in Gotham, and we've got a megavirus in the hands of a psychopath, then yes, this is picture perfect. Oh, I could think of some more colorful words to describe this situation. This isn't how I planned for things to go. I'm not happy about this either. <sighs> I guess we'd better start focusing on a solution then. Sanctus, right under our noses all this time. Chemical weapons, human experimentation. Sanctus was, is, the darkest part of the Agency's history. Oh, this place is just... evil. And that's why we're shutting it down once and for all. We can take some of this equipment and put it to good use. It's about time this technology was used for good. I couldn't agree with you more, Batman. I'm gonna need your help tracking down Quinn. She's out there with the virus, and that's a threat to Gotham we simply can't allow. Freeze must have an idea about where she'd go in these circumstances. <laughs> Don't waste your time with that maniac. He'd say anything to throw us off track. But he's our best lead. Well, I disagree. There's nothing more than a science experiment gone awry. You best keep your focus on Harley and the virus before anyone else gets hurt. That was strange. She just completely shut me down. She's normally so open to all possible leads. This is so unlike her. Waller was out of line. She should know better than to ignore your instincts. Usually, she does. Listen, Director Waller may think it's a waste of time, but I say leave no stone unturned. I'll see what I can find out. Hey, Will. Give me a hand with this, will you? I think there may be something we can salvage back here.
<laughs> to revel in what you've done. Of course not. You don't deserve this. You need help, Freeze. <laughs> you think? I'm here to talk about Harley Quinn. I need your help to find her. If you want me to tell you what I know about Harley, I'm going to need something from you in exchange. The agency intends to keep me prisoner with this virus living inside me. They mean to study me. Given the chance, I could beat this just like Riddler. He became stronger for it. You're saying Riddler became infected with the Lotus virus when he worked for Sanctus. If he could survive it, I believe I can too. That dial, there. They've keyed it into the temperature regulators in the airlock. All I need from you is to turn that dial. Let my body do the rest. Lower the temperature in the airlock. I know that I can fight this. I will do that for you. But first, tell me what you know. I'm so glad you're agreeable. The truth is... The Lotus virus doesn't have to be this. Riddle's blood can turn the virus into something that can heal. That's why we stole his body. Why your friends in the agency had it on ice. My Nora will perish if I don't use Lotus to save her. They merely hope to cure himself of his addiction. Harley already has the virus. Now, she needs a blood sample from Riddler's body. With it, she will have what she needs to create the serum. She'll go for the body first. That's how you will find her. I already have samples of the blood. Look for a temperature-controlled container. No. You have what you came for. Please, do as you promised. I need to get to the subway right away. If Harley's trying to make this serum, she'll go straight for Riddler's blood. I'm coming with you. The secondary properties of this virus. The serum they want to make from it. I've got a feeling Director Waller didn't want us to hear that. Which would explain why she steered you away from Freeze. What is she up to, I wonder? She can't keep secrets from me. I always get to the truth. I have no doubt. Don't worry about that now. If we hurry, we can intercept Harley at the lair. We could use Bruce on this one. The less attention we draw to ourselves, the better. What does that mean? If Harley sees Batman coming, she may do something drastic. But if she sees Bruce, she'll think she can take you. You don't know I'm the one that told Waller who you really are. Hmm. Are we... Are we all good? I'd like to clear the air, in the interest of full transparency. It's your job to figure people out. Can't hold it against you. Whew. I'm glad you see it that way.
I suppose I should have seen this coming. She's become more and more erratic since she came to Gotham. I hardly know what she's going to do next. Harley? No. Director Waller. You say she can't keep secrets from you. I never thought she'd have reason to keep them from me. I have to admit, a part of me was sort of hoping we'd be taking the Batmobile. Not that this car isn't great, but, you know, it's no Batmobile. Well, maybe next time. Oh, so there's going to be a next time. You've put a lot of time and energy into this crusade. I prefer to think of it as a mission. Do you ever question it? Not the mission. I mean, the methods. The clandestine nature of what you do. The fear tactics. The occasional brutality. I've held myself back. And I'm doing my best to protect this city. That's not... And you've hardly got a leg to stand on. I mean, the agency has done some pretty brutal things itself. No! God! Bruce, stop! I'm not criticizing. Quite the opposite. I'm having a bit of an existential crisis. Existential crisis? <sighs> yeah. It's... Waller. Why wouldn't she want us to know what Freeze told you? Things have gotten gray recently. Too gray. I don't know if I'm on the right side anymore. Maybe I shouldn't have brought this up. You're on the right side. You have to know that. I do. Or I have. Until now. Hey. You sure you're okay to do this? Absolutely. You know, I looked through Gordon's case files about Harley. Her father suffered from mental illness that eventually drove him to suicide. An illness with a strong hereditary link. It's very possible she wants the serum to prevent the same thing happening to her. If she fails, she's got one deadly plan B. <laughs> Don't sound so worried, Batman. I'm here to help. We're almost there. Riddler's blood, she'll be incredibly dangerous. Hey, you don't need to tell me. She tried to freeze me to death. Then we're on the same page. She must be gone already. Do you think that means she already has the vials? I don't know, but it's worth a look. Maybe she got scared off before she could find them. C4, plastic explosive. Only a little, though. Must be remnants from something bigger. I don't remember Bane making bombs, and it doesn't match Freeze's M.O. Who then? Harley? John? Even money on both. Blood, but... Was this here before?
dried. Must be from when Harley shot Bane's men. Damn it. What is it? They're gone. The vials are gone. C4 and stolen blood. So how do those two things add up? So... Keep looking. Hey, Avesta, does this look familiar? We call it a liminal device, a not quite as powerful phalanx key. Some agency field ops are issued one, and if they left it, they must have been rushed. An agency team has been here. It could have been used to access Freeze's container with the vials. was supposed to preserve him. Obviously, it failed. Right. Decomposition is actually... accelerated. They purposefully disabled the capsule. If that's the case, then they were trying to destroy the body. It's textbook asset denial. But it's some sloppy work. They were moving fast. Too fast. Bruce! The rapid decay. I wonder if that's a side effect of the virus, or being in that capsule, or both. If Harley decides to release the virus, that sample may be the most valuable weapon we have. Alfred, I did a bioscan of Riddler's corpse. I'm sending the data to you. The body is breaking down, so do your best with it. Received, Bruce. It's... Oh my. This may take a bit of time. So, Waller takes the blood and has Riddler's body destroyed. That would make her the only player who could create a viable Project Lotus sample. Having all the pieces to the puzzle. Oh my god. Bruce. The Pact all had problems. Medical problems they needed solving. And if Waller's the solution, she can make them work for her. She's not above using leverage to get people under her thumb. I mean, look what she did with my identity. Harley. The virus. Where is she, John? Where's Harley? I don't think we've been formally introduced. 
Doe. John Doe. <laughs> I asked you a question, John. I heard you, Bruce. I do understand English. <sighs> she was here. Wait, she was here? Yeah. Ugh. Where is she now, John? This is important. You got some real nerve, you know that? Buddy, remember the cafe. Just manipulate her, John. Did I stuck my neck out for you? Way out! Bane nearly ripped my head off. And for what? She flew the coop! And I, I have nothing. You steered me wrong at every turn. Every bad piece of advice. Everything blew up in my face. I was honestly trying to help. Well then. Moose Flash! You're bad at helping, Bruce. Like, bad helping. Hall of Fame bad. We need some real answers, Bruce. There's no point! It's over! The pact! The dream! Us! Not yet, it's not. She's still out there, with a deadly virus in a city full of innocent people. Call me when you got something I care about. It always surprises me how heavy guns are. John, stop. Please. Stop! Stop! <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, that's not a bad idea. Well, it's been real. What are you doing, John? Leaving. There's nothing left for me here. A lot of Bad memories. And a weird smell. John, I understand you want to run. I've run before. But problems, they just come with you. No matter how far you go. Nope. Pretty sure I can get away from that smell. Damn it, John. Listen to me. I need to find Harley. I don't want to do this anymore. Not for you. Not for her. Damn it, John! I'm not screwing around anymore. You tell me where she is! I'm not screwing around either, Bruce! The agency came! I mean, before you, agency lady. They took everything! I was hiding up here with my thoughts. Then Harley showed up. Her expression was, uh, kind of like yours right now. When she found out they took the blood and ruined Hitler's body right under my nose. She gave me this, a souvenir of our time together. And where do you think Miss Quinn is now? We'd like to find her sooner rather than later. I don't want to find her. My heart can't take another kicking. I don't ever want to see her again. She ruined me. I, I can't. Help me bring her to justice. It's what she deserves, John. I just can't say no to you, Bruce. You gotta keep an eye on this guy. That Wayne charm gets him every time. You sure know how to spin things. All the right ways to uh, twist my arm. It's going to take me a few hours to find her. I have to check a few places, do some things. Okay, we'll come with you. <laughs> no, you won't. There will be plenty of time for John and Bruce later. This is... I need to do this alone. I'll call you when I find something. Wait, hold on. We really like your help, John. Are you sure you won't reconsider us coming with you? I did. And it's a hard pass. We're coming with you. You're being a real jerk, Bruce. When you first walked through that door, I honestly thought you came here to check on me. John, stop. Bruce. Oh, relax. <laughs> Bye. No. Oh. 
I'm going to track down those vials in the agency's cold storage. Be careful. Thanks. Alfred, how's the bioscan analysis going? Nearly complete. I should have it ready for you when you arrive. I'm on my way. Back. I'm taking over at the computer. Please don't. Al, oh. oh, can you hear me? Alfred? Oh, uh, uh, it, what's, what's the matter? Uh, Thomas, uh, let's, let's chat. Uh, now's the time. It won't be long. No, Al, it's me. It's Bruce. Yes. What would Master Bruce think about what you've done? I don't know. He, he, he and the, the, the Cobblepot boy are playmates. Please, please wake up. Bruce, I... Where, where, where am I? Easy, easy. You're in the cave. Take your time, think back, and tell me exactly what happened. Oh, no, it was... It was nothing. I was... I was working and I felt, I felt dizzy for a moment. Uh, I, I must have been more exhausted than I realized. Uh, and, well, basically that's all there is to it. First it's your hand shaking and now you're, you're passing out. We, we can't keep ignoring this. You need to be looked at before it gets worse. Uh, oh, Ted. Hey, 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 hey. careful. Oh. Thank you, Bruce. I'll just catch my breath. Just give me a moment, please. It's all nonsense. What is? Freeze's magic cure-all. It doesn't work as intended. Take a look. Lotus. Megavirus. Only one known survivor. Riddler. Freeze thinks his blood is now a key to unlocking Lotus's true potential. The bioscan of Riddler's body. I used the analysis you sent me to simulate its interaction with the virus. And the bat computer promptly found holes in Freeze's calculations. It appears that Lotus can be synthesized into a restorative agent for the human body. A remarkable one. Well, Freeze got that part right, but... But as soon as Lotus repairs any physical problems, it causes irreparable damage to the subject's brain chemistry. It drives you insane. It's what Riddler meant when he said, I wasn't always like this. All of these people, all of them trying to kill each other for something that will make them as deranged as he was in the end. We all should know by now that miracles come 
with a cost. Lotus is nothing more than a poison. Harley's already insane, Alfred. I doubt she's worried about taking it up a notch. Yes, you're probably right. Although if she wants the serum to avoid what happened to her father, well, <laughs> it's certainly ironic. Run the simulation again, then forward the readings to Special Agent Imana Vesta. Ah, I already ran it several times myself. I, I wanted to, to be thorough. Silly notion, I know. My problems are purely psychological. My real cure is a very long vacation. Somewhere far away from Gotham. A place where the sun actually comes to visit. <laughs> I might even come with you after all this is over. Well, I shall hold you to that. But you can't bring your bat suit. Avesta. I read your report. The serum makes the whole thing beyond dangerous. Did you find out where Wally was keeping Riddler's blood? Yeah. She's got the area on lockdown, but I think I can get myself in. And then I'm taking these things off the table. Permanently. It's too risky. We can figure something- I won't let Waller turn the agency back into something like Sanctus, Bruce. It's not up for debate. Good luck. Let's get you somewhere more comfortable. Oh, Bruce. Uh, Tiffany's up there. She's probably wondering where I hurried off to. I'm sorry, Al, but we can't risk you falling again. Very well. Oh, we, we mustn't keep Tiffany worrying any longer. She's done quite enough of that the past few days. Ready? I'm afraid that's all we do. Worry the ones closest to us. Okay, yes, thank you. The doctor is on her way. How are you feeling? Well, better. A little more rest and some tea and I'll be as good as new. Make that a lot more rest, Alfred. You're hurt. The only thing hurt is my pride. Which, sadly, even the doctor won't be able to fix. You can put up a strong front, but I'm not leaving your side until the doctor arrives. Got it? Understood. Be straight with me. How worried should I be? You don't need to sugarcoat it. I just need facts. I'll let Alfred tell you himself. I told you, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's just... There's a lot more to worry about right now than me. Well, there is something else. I know this isn't the best time, but I need your advice. Director Waller's people reached out after the incident at your office. They said they were impressed with my skill set. We got to talking, and well, they offered me a job with the agency. The training would start immediately, but it'd be a big step for me. Tiffany, don't do this. Okay. I trust you. You know them better than I do. So what's the deal? If you think they're such bad news, why are you working with them? Are they pressuring you into it? I mean, you seem like you do what you want. So maybe there's something going on that I don't know about. I don't know why I thought you'd tell me. Bruce, just... Just let me in. We used to be so close. 
Oh, for heaven's sake, Bruce, just tell her. Tell me what. This is why I need to try something new. Okay, I'll admit. I haven't been totally upfront with you, Tiffany. But I have good reasons for that. The fact of the matter is... I'm Batman. Waller knows she figured it out, and she's been holding that over me to... Wait, wait, wait. You're Batman. The Bruce who used to steal me cookies from Alfred's pantry. He's... He's Batman. Then you and my dad. Oh, wow. I can't believe I didn't see it before. Batman business? to go. We'll be waiting right here. Yes, um, pull up a chair, dear. There's a lot to tell. John? It's easy on me, you know? What am I gonna say to Bruce? It, 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 it wasn't me. 
I mean, it, it was me, but it, it was self-defense. I, I know it needs work! Bruce? I'm so glad you're here. Please, it just... It, it, it's not what it looks like. I, I can't explain. Just try and reserve judgment. What have you done, John? No, no, please! It's... Just, just hear me out. What happened? Is Harley here? She left, just as I got here. The agents, they came looking for her. They're not supposed to just start shooting, Bruce. They're supposed to say, hands up! I've seen it on the TV. They just attacked you. I tried to talk sense into them, but they wouldn't listen. They, they just wanted blood. Something took hold of me. Something dark and vicious and desperate for survival. I grabbed the nearest thing and started swinging. <laughs> you think this is funny? I'm sorry. I, I always laugh when I'm nervous. You said you hit them with something. I think so. I, I just grabbed whatever came to hand. This woman has a gunshot wound. Oh, really? In the back. Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's coming back to me now. She was going for her partner's gun, and I, I just, I just went on autopilot. I didn't stop until I was safe. I've just been sitting here in the dark until you came in. Okay, sounds sounds like you did what you had to do. Exactly! It was a real life or death moment. I just sort of closed my eyes and hoped for the best. I felt so much rage inside me, Bruce. It was terrifying. It was like... It was like I became... Someone else. Someone dangerous. But someone you want around when your back's against the wall. Oh boy. John? Buddy, we need to get you some help. <laughs> help? You mean doctors and drugs. The talking cure. I'm not going back to Arkham. It was a momentary episode. A, a flash in the pan. It won't be a problem. I, I promise. You, you believe me, don't you? You have faith in your good old buddy John, right? Honestly, John, I think you're a danger to society. To the people around you. Danger? I expected more support from you. Frankly, I'm offended. You're supposed to be on my side! I guess I'm an idiot for expecting that, aren't I? What do you mean? Whatever this is between us, it's off balance. The goodwill only flows one way, and it isn't towards me. You've made that very clear by now. Yeah, it is off-balance, but not the way you're saying. You are the one surrounded by corpses. Court! It's all my fault! Why should Bruce Wayne have to take responsibility for anything? I should have known things were wrong the moment you put that tracker on me. You've been using me from the start! At least have the decency to admit it! The least you can do! It's come clean about that! 
It's not true, John. I care about you as a friend. I really do. S say that. We both know that's a lie. You don't even respect me enough to tell me the truth. John, I'm... I could have had you, but for that sucker hunch. <laughs> Didn't think Batman fought dirty like that. What? You forget I know you, Bruce. The real you. Always hiding behind some kind of mask. Playboy, businessman, criminal. Bat. You can't fool a friend. Someone who really takes the time to look. Well done, John. You figured it out. I have to say, I'm impressed. Only because you underestimate me. <laughs> I never miss a trick. It all gets filed away up here. You think you can use that against me? As blackmail? Oh, I would never! We're two threads in the same stitch. Remember, bound together, even under strain. Then what's your point? After we raided the agency's convoy, Harley stashed one of their trucks here. And now it's gone, which means she's getting out of town, across the Gotham Bridge. Let me help you stop her. I'm not asking for much, just a little faith. I swear to you, my losing control was a one-time thing. One more time. You do believe me, don't you? You still have faith in me, don't you? Your old buddy, John? No. I can't trust you. Can't? Or won't? After everything I've done for you. Well, do what you have to do, old friend. This ditch is broken. We, we could have done great things together, Batman. But you had to go and ruin it! Hardly me about you. And now she needs my help. She was right. I belong at her side. Alfred, I lost John. Something tells me he'll be running right back to Harley. Anything I can do? Give me a surveillance feed at the Gotham Bridge. Harley's trying to get out of the city with the virus and a truck full of explosives. I'll need to suit up to stop her. A breaking story from the Gotham Bridge. A woman dressed as a clown is in a standoff with government agents and the GCPD. 
Reports say she's threatening to set off explosives unless her demands are met. More as it comes in. This standoff looks like it's just begun. Harley looks cornered. That makes her more dangerous than ever. GCBD needs to get these people far away. I see Harley's truck, Alfred. I could drop straight under the cab, take her out before she has a chance to detonate the C4. But there are a lot of civilians. No time to waste. Which my finger comes off it like if I thought of something, everything goes boom. You tell them I want the goddamn vials of Riddler's blood, or I'm gonna blow this freaking bridge to hell and everyone on it. What's it gonna be, Bats? Doesn't seem like we got a lot of time. One way or the other, this is the end of the road, Harley. You're surrounded. Don't be so sure, Bats. There's always a way out. <laughs> I see you found Miss Quinn. My people will take it from here. Stand aside, and we can all go on our merry way. She's mine now. This is a volatile situation, and you're not helping. You can't reason with a mind like hers. The only thing she understands is brute force. All of you can shut your damn pie holes. I want Riddler's blood, right freaking now, or everyone here goes boom! Your threats are well and good, but I don't have it! Don't try and play me, lady! Your people took it from the subway! We took it, but someone destroyed it against my will! Someone on my team! It's gone! Whatever serum you thought you could make, it's off the table! It ain't true. It can't be. It is true! Disarm the detonator, and put your hands behind your head! The hell I will! This is my show, and I'm the one calling the shots! <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? I came for you, Harley. I need you, like a joke needs a punchline! Maggots need meat! What are you doing? They'll kill us! <laughs> oh, oh no, Harley. I'm going to kill them. Believe me, it's gonna be a blast. Freeze! Stay where you are! <laughs> you didn't think this through, did you? You blow the bridge, you both die. You say you're all about justice. Justice is a joke! You tell me what's just about my life. I lost half of it in an asylum to a sickness I couldn't control. Control. Everybody, pull back! Into this! That 
was beautiful, Mr. J. I always knew you'd do great things. A moment to cherish, Harley. So glad I could share it with you.